It takes seven seconds for someone to take one glance at you and already come up with their own assumptions and conclusions as to who you are and who you want to be and how you want to be regarded. In seven seconds, my friend, what can you really say to reverse their first impression? Not much. Let's see how long it takes me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Eden and I am from Dress Codes. I'm a personal shopper and stylist and is my 10 seconds over? Did you get to know really anything about me? No, based off of how I'm dressing, you can kind of get a feel as to who I am or who I want you to think that I am. This isn't rocket science and this isn't new. However, I kind of want to shake the camera and give you guys a bit of a wake up call. Why are we not using this knowledge to our advantage? We regard it and we understand it, but then we're like, whatever, and we still choose our frumpy fit instead of something that's more clean and polished that you obviously look better in. I don't care what you have planned for the day you dress like you have opportunities lined up from here till tomorrow. This is not only manifestation how the universe works. This should be common sense. Look at style and your personal style as a tool in your toolbox to get you that much closer to success in all areas of your life. I'm talking career. I'm talking even romantic. I don't know one girl, one of my friends that doesn't prefer a man who is well-dressed and looks like he actually gives a shit. And that's what it ultimately goes to show. If you actually care about who you're meeting, what opportunities you come across, it also goes to show other people what you think of yourself. It's simple math. When you look good, you inevitably feel good. And when you feel good, you are more confident. And when you are more confident, you're able to focus on other things in life besides how you look, being insecure, hiding in your shell. You're more approachable. You're able to talk and make eye contact. You're able to focus on the task at hand without any distractions. And there has been research and studies done that actually go to prove that you are going to be more productive and perform better when you are dressed well. Think of your favorite outfit versus an outfit that made you feel uncomfortable. How were you throughout the day? Like I know that when I'm wearing something that, you know, I'm like, oh God, why did I put this on? It's not only uncomfortable, doesn't look good on me, doesn't sit well, these shoes don't really go with my pants, I was in a rush, I didn't put much thought, I was lazy, I was tired, uh, like my whole mood and my whole personality is completely dimmed. I don't really want to run into somebody and if I do, I'm constantly like hiding or fidgeting with my shirt or trying to cover my shoes that I don't like. I'm just not myself and I'm not the best me that I can be that day. Therefore, missing out on opportunities and whoever sees me that day or interacts with me is going to be like, ah, eh, she's looking a little bit off or she's not, you know, what she was the other day. Or if I'm going into an interview and I'm not dressed well, I'm going to be even more concerned about what I'm wearing. So much so that my mind is not going to be in the interview 110%. I'm probably going to be a little bit more subtle with my answers. I'm probably not going to be as confident. I'm not going to be able to showcase my personality. I'm going to retract inward into my shell. And that is what personal style is. It's sort of like your armor and your shell externally. If you're not going to showcase who you are on the inside outward, it's going to be very difficult for people to take you seriously or be interested or intrigued by you. The best dressed person in the room commands attention. And a lot of people might look at that as arrogant or negative, but that's not always the case. There is a certain way of dressing tastefully without being too loud or too obnoxious. When you just elevate your basic pieces, what you're doing is you're showing people that you care, you have attention to detail, you're serious about what you're doing or who you're talking to. There are so many ways that this can positively impact your life, but it can also negatively impact your life. It's a double-edged sword. So if you don't know what you're doing, if you have no idea how your style might be impacting your day-to-day -day life and your general success, we have the perfect article that we are giving away for free that breaks down the different ways in which what you wear can actually impact and affect your success. And this is something that you all absolutely need to have a nice read through. It's not super long. It's to the point. It gives you a and it will totally change your mind on personal style. And you're going to want to spend just a little bit more time on what you put on your body every single morning because you're going to be able to grasp just how important that really is for the rest of your day and the trajectory of your life. Click the link below, just punch in your email and you will have that delivered to your inbox in a matter of seconds. Probably just as quick as it takes for somebody to make an assumption of you when they first meet you. Like I've said before, this is a form of self-care. 
put in just a little bit more effort, do some research, take your time. We are here for you as well. Check out our website. We have plenty of handpicked pieces from our style experts and buyers who know what they're doing and what they're talking about and creating those selects for you so you don't have to spend the time that you barely have on making selects and searching for the right pieces. You can be fully confident in knowing that what you are going to pick is going to not only be of good quality and fit you perfectly, but it's also going to be budget friendly. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Comment down below any experiences you've had when you've decided to spend just a little bit more time getting dressed in the morning and how that changed your day. To inspire others to put in that effort. I will see you back here so soon. Take care.